The cavity's a mystery cat. He's called the hidden paw, for he's the master criminal who can defy the law. He's the bafflement of Scotland Yard, the flying squad's despair. For when they reach the scene of crime, McCavity's not there. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. He's broken every human law, he breaks the law of gravity. His powers of levitation would make a fakir stare. And when you reach the scene of crime, McCavity's not there. You may seek him in the basement, you may look up in the air, but I tell you once and once again, McCavity's not there. McCavity's a ginger cat, he's very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His brow is deeply lined with thought, his head is highly domed, his coat is dusty from neglect, his whiskers are uncombed. He sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake, and when you think he's half asleep, he's always wide awake. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity, for he's a fiend in feline shape, a monster of depravity. You may meet him in a by street, you may see him in the square, but when a crime's discovered, the McCavity's not there. Hi, students. Good morning to everyone. Today, we are going to see the next poem from our Honeydew book. The title of the poem is McCavity, the Mystery Cat, written by T.S. Eliot. Let's look at about the author T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot, in full, Thomas Stearns Eliot. He was born in the year 1888 on 26th September in Missouri, U.S. He was a poet, essayist, publisher, playwright, literary critic and an editor. In the year 1914, he moved to England for settlement, work and marriage. He won a Nobel Prize and Order of Merit in the year 19. 48, and he was died on 4th January at age of 76 in London. Let me explain the character McCavity. McCavity is a fiction and an imaginary character. It has been taken from one of the T.S. Eliot poetry book, Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. This is the only book that T.S. Eliot has written for younger audience. Here the character McCavity was actually a cat, but he has been practiced as a criminal. Very bad, terrible criminals that we have seen in the movies, who are very difficult to catch hold of. So McCavity is also like that character, who plays the crime, who does the crime, but hides from the scene. None of the police also could ever catch him. So here the poet T.S. Eliot has so beautifully described this character in his poem by giving such minute details of his looks and its behavior. In this book, he has written a light and entertaining poem about cats. Before getting to the poem, Let's see the warm-up area. Do you have a pet cat? Have you ever noticed anything mysterious about it? It is not easy to say whether every cat is a mystery, but McCavity is one for sure. What is it that makes him a perfect mystery cat? Read the poem and find out. Let's read the poem now. Let's start the poem now. Look at the first answer. McCavity's a mystery cat. He is called the hidden paw. For he is the master criminal who can defy the law. He is the bafflement of Scotland Yard. The flying swords despair. For when they reach the scene of crime, McCavity's not there. Let's start the explanation of the first stanza. Miss McCavity is a mystery cat. He is called the hidden paw. Here the McCavity is a mystery cat. It means 
people they doesn't know much about the cat it was an unknown cat here he called as hidden paw here hidden paw is the nickname given to the cat paw means the foot of a animal so mystery means unknown and hidden paw it means he was unusually hidden and never seen by anybody for he is the master criminal who can defy the law so criminal means one who commits a crime here master criminal here the cat mccavity is the master criminal he was a well known criminal who could disobey the law defy means disobey so who could disobey the law and he never follows any rules and regulations it was the bafflement of scotland yard the flying squads despair so bafflement means the meaning is there given under the stanza it is confusion bafflement means confusion of scotland yard what is mean by scotland yard it is the headquarters of the london's police force so it is the headquarters of the london police force so here everybody in the police force was confused about its identity even the flying squad means a group of police or soldiers are ready to move into action quickly whenever there is a massive problem occur or disobedience of law so this police force or soldiers who are ready to fight and who are ready to search for him the meaning for the word despair means sadness so mccavity had created lot of confusions and lot of sadness for them because he was never caught for when they reach the scene of crime mccavity not there because whenever they reach the crime scene he is also away mccavity was never there all from the first stanza let's see the second stanza now mccavity mccavity there is no one like mccavity he is broken every human law he breaks the law of gravity his powers of levitation would make a fucky stare and when you reach the scene of crime mccavity's not there you may seek him in the basement you may look up in the air but i tell you once and once again mccavity's not there let's start the explanation of the second stanza mccavity mccavity there is no one like mccavity here the author conveys nobody like that cat because he was such a criminal cat he has he is broken every human law here he has broken every law and order of that place and he breaks the law of gravity what is mean by law of gravity we are all in the ground with the help of gravity but whenever he was committing a crime he was disappear as if he had disappear in the thin air gravity didn't work on him it was like that so so gravity is not supporting to the cat so he is such a criminal cat his pass of levitation would make a fucky stare what is mean by levitation rising or floating in the air without support so power of levitation means he had a power of to float in the air without any support that means he had its magical power with it by which he had float in the air so fakir what is mean by fakir one who lives alone that means like a uh, people who are living alone like a monk or a priest 
who has some magical pass so fakir stair means people who lives alone and they won't want any property they won't own any property they live alone and they live lonely life dedicated to god like priests when these fakirs say so here these fakirs they are saying that the magical pass of the macavity they even used to stare in amusement so they are looking constantly they are staring at the macavity and they are were shocked about the magical powers that he had even by the priest and the monks then when you reach the scene of crime macavities not there so whenever the police the scotland yard they try to catch hold of macavity catch hold red handed he never he was never found in the place he will immediately use its magical power and escapes from the place immediately so in this stanza we have seen the par magical par that the macavity had you may seek him in the basement you may look up in the air so here the meaning for the word seek is searching basement means underground area so here even when if you search macavity in the ground or in the air but i'll tell you once and once again macavities not there that means macavity will never be found and he will not be there this stanza explains the surprising pass of macavity he was so powerful and also so influenced by the magical pass so that he could manage not to get caught by the police after committing the huge crime and everybody used to look in amazement and they and so they surprised on him and said that how could to catch him and they couldn't do the task and to complete it let's move on to the third stanza now macavities a ginger cat he is very tall and thin you would know him if you saw him for his eyes are sunken in his brow is deeply lined with thought his head is highly doomed his coat is dusty from neglect his whiskers are uncombed he swaves his head from side to side with movements like a snake and when you think he is half asleep he is always wide awake let's start the explanation of the third stanza now macavities a ginger cat he is very tall and thin so here the author tells the first appearance as a ginger cat it means the color of the cat as light brown color as the color of the ginger and the next second thing is that he is very tall and thin you would know him if you saw him for his eyes are sunken in it means if you suppose to see if you suppose you can happen to see him you can easily recognize him by the eyes that it was sunken in that is inside the face his brow is deeply lined with thought his head is highly doomed here the eyebrow of the macavity was described as it was deeply lined with thoughts it means there are some lines on its forehead as if 
he was thinking something there are so many thoughts gone on in his mind and the next thing about his forehead the head was highly doomed it means the shape doomed it's a kind of a shape so the head is like a doom next appearance of the macavity is about his fur coat means fur the outer skin of the cat so it looks dirty and from neglect neglect means because he don't have time to look after himself he always used to spend his time for committing crimes so that he just ignored himself to keep himself clean and his whiskers are uncombed here even whiskers are uncombed long hair on the cheeks were uncombed so the long hair under the cheeks were also uncombed because he all the time committing the crime he sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake this line explains the move of the head he moves his head macavity had a habit of moving his head from side to side just like a movement of a snake here the poetical device simile is used so the here the cat head movement is compared to the movement of the snake's head the meaning for the word sways means move and when you think he is half asleep he is always wide awake it means so here now this is the way our macavity cheats everyone like as he is half asleep that like sleeping but he is not he is wide awake and he is acting and cheating everyone that's all from the explanation of the third stanza let's start the fourth stanza now macavity macavity there's no one like macavity for he is a fiend in feline shape a monster of depravity you may meet him in a by street you may see him in the square but when a crimes discovered then macavities not there by t s elliot see the explanation of the fourth stanza macavity macavity there's no la- no one like macavity yes here of course there is no other cat in the entire world who is as bad as macavity for he is a fiend in feline shape what is mean by fiend fiend means devil feline means a species or family of cats for dogs it is canine species similarly for cat it is feline species so the poet described macavity as a devil in a cat shape and monster of depravity depravity means immorality immorality immoral without any moral values immorality means without any moral values whenever he commit a crime he will look like a devil but he was in a cat shape this is what the meaning of the first two lines let's see the third line now you may meet him in a by street you may see him in the square here by street means a side street a small street that is parallel to the same street square what is meant by square a open spo- space in the center of the town that is center part of the city 
that is open area where people used to sit and relax so here you may see mccavity there but whenever some someone tries to catch him after the crime scene he will not be spotted so but when a crimes discovered then mccavity not there it means someone tries to catch him after the crime scene he will not be spotted were the crime discovered mccavity will not be spotted there so the poet says that the one usual days you may find him on a street or in a square but whenever there is a crime committed by him after that you will never see him again let's see the poetical devices from the poem first let me explain what is poetic devices poetic devices is a tools that is used by a poet in his poem to create a rhyme or enhance its meaning and emotions so it is called as poetic devices let's see the first poetic device personification it means giving human qualities to animals and other objects for example the stars winkled at me it means it used to get human like attributes or characteristics to either any object an object or an animal in other words if an object or an animal behaves like humans and thinks like humans speaks like humans so that particular is called personification so as we have read in the entire poem mccavity the mystery cat the character mccavity is completely personified because in this poem mccavity hasn't been treated like a cat it has been treated like a human being so who is a hot coat criminal so the entire poem has got the poetical device personification the next poetical device was repetition the repeating of a particular sound device to create an effect to create emphasis a poet may repeat words or lines within the poem so repetition is a very easy is very to e- very easy to understand a word or a phrase repeated many times in a poem then it is called as repetition for the example of repetition the word mccavity is in the entire poem has been repeated in many places so as you can see the stanza starting line mccavity mccavity there's no one like mccavity so we can saw there is repetition used in the poem so the poetical device repetition has been used so the third poetical device was that alliteration alliteration is the repetition of a same or similar kind of sounds at the beginning of words or in stressed syllables so here alliteration is used when you have to see back to back words which has been same initial sounds so here the example for the alliteration look at the first line of the poem mccavities a mystery cat so here mccavity mystery both the word started with the letter m there is another example for alliteration in the second line of the poem he sways his head from side to side so side letter starts word start with the letter s yes, and another side word start with s yes. so double s yes, has been used 
the same letter is used again and again so it is a alliteration another one more example for alliteration look at the last line of the poem his brow is deeply lined with thought his head is highly doomed so here his the word start with the letter h head the word start with the letter h and highly the word start with the letter h so we can see the alliteration that has been used in the poem as a lost we are going to see the poetical device simile a simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as for example as sweet as pie colorful like crayons as a example for simile look at the second line of the poem he sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake here the movement of a snake and movement of the macavity's head both are compared with the word like so if you see in a line there is a presence of word pres presence of the word like so whenever there is a comparison and if they had a word like or as present in the line then definitely that will be a simile that's all from the poetical device well that's all from the poem macavity the mystery cat written by t s eliot thank you one and all